for that very useful uh, presentation and talk and then bringing out this important especially with respect to the production aspect and having all the data at one place uh, may i invite mr partha roy uh, from sun petro uh, to give his uh, presentation so he represents sun petro and uh, as you may be aware during the last few months they have built a good portfolio in terms of overall projects and uh, some of their projects will be upcoming uh, they are here along with his team and president uh, sun petro is also here mr padam singh is also here so welcome to you along with your team so i request your talk please go ahead a very good afternoon to everyone respected chair sir eminent dignitaries my friends from other industries and future leaders from universities i welcome all of you to my presentation so to start with uh, i would like to say like digital transformation is very much required in today's scenario because it makes process simpler it makes process faster but unless and until it is coupled with innovation out of the box thinking and uh, like uh, dynamism in actions i mean hardly we will get any good result from digital transformation and we at sun petro since beginning have been implementing innovations as well as digital transformations uh, adopt adopt adopting digital transformation in our day to day processes day to day operations so i will uh, take you through different slides starting with uh, our sun petro's vision mission our company's uh, details our production uh, production potentials and digital transformations that are happening on day to day basis in our organization so this is our vision we want to establish ourselves uh, in 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 global scenario and we want to have a very good significant presence globally in energy sector with sustainable growth having excellence and best working culture and our mission is we want to be amongst the best young uh, operators in the in the world with sustainable and innovative methods following best hsc practices with minimum carbon footprints <coughs> this slide is about our company our company sun petrochemical private limited was incorporated in 1994 and company uh, started its uh, carbon black manufacturing business from a plant uh, located in nagothan near mumbai but 2014 onwards uh, company has diversified into oil and gas business under the uh, leadership of our president sir mr padam singh company is uh, promoted by the promoters of sun pharmaceuticals industries limited and it is led by a team of industry stalwarts and uh, having uh, they are having experience in conventional and unconventional shallow water deep water and uh, other uh, oil and gas businesses we have revived so far uh, some fields like baula and modra these are heavy oil producing fields these are uh, like uh, the other operators past operators were not able to produce from these fields but we have revived these fields we have started production these fields we have made these fields economically viable we have also revived hazira field which was uh, on the verge of uh, i mean abandonment we have taken up this field and we made it economically viable we have also got one bhaskar field close to khambat uh, area of uh, area in gujarat and uh, this is our flagship field we are producing from this fields recently we are awarded with three exploration blocks under olp rounds and two discover small fields under uh, dsf rounds our current produ production uh, capability is more than 7500 barrels of oil equivalent per day and acreage is around 4000 square kilometer and we are also preparing for bidding in the coming olp rounds and our mantra is speed with accuracy and scale which uh, i'll let you know through my coming slides so in short uh, these are the portfolio assets of sun petro we have got uh, nine assets as on date out of these nine four are producing fields first one is modera on the uh, it is very close to mehasana and next baula it is it is in ahmedabad very close to ahmedabad these two fields uh, we have taken from uh, operators uh, ipl and uh, one singaporean company they, they are not able to produce from this fields we made uh, these fields uh, um, viable economically viable and we started production in 2016 and still today these are producing next uh, field is hazira it is very close to surat we have uh, taken over the operation uh, from the past operators uh, in 2017 october it was uh, almost uh, on the verge of abandonment we made it economically viable by applying innovative concepts technologies and adopting new new ideas 
Next, our flagship field Bhaskar 1 uh, in near Gulf of Kambay, Kambat area. It is, also, it is now our, it, it is the latest uh, field which we have commissioned in uh, this, this year. We are producing from these fields. Other discovered fields which are uh, available with us like Bhaskar 1, it is, it is known as Gulf A. Then uh, Bhaskar 3, this is GK28 in uh, Gulf of Kutch. So these are also very challenging fields like uh, Bhaskar, uh, Bhaskar 2, Gulf A. It is located in, uh, in the intertidal areas of Gulf of Kambay, having highest, second highest tide in the world, underwater current in the world. So it is very challenging and uh, this, this other field GK, GK28 or Bhaskar 3, that is also very challenging having more than 14 percent of nitrogen. Other, other exploratory blocks which are available with us are like uh, Prabhakar 1, Prabhakar 2 and Prabhakar 3. So we have started our operations, GNG activities in these areas for, for, for development. So this is about our uh, president sir, Mr. Uh, Padam Singh, he is very much uh, known in this industry. Uh, sir has got around 47 years of experience and he has, uh, he has worked with ONGC, uh, Reliance, uh, GSPC before. And uh, under his leadership, the first uh, deep water oil field uh, of Reliance was uh, developed within 26 months from discovery. And uh, our Sun Petro, like, uh, when reached today's uh, phase uh, because of him only, sir. So this is about me. I have got around 18 years of experience uh, in this industry and uh, worked extensively in uh, offshore, onshore, CBM, CBM projects and now uh, for the last eight and a half years I am with Sun Petro. So our uh, strength of the company, like uh, company has got a significant uh, presence uh, across the world. We have got very highly focused and technically qualified team. We have got exposure to more than 250 conventional and unconventional fields data. We have got very good financial strength, very good international relationship and we have developed so many uh, technologies in-house. We have set up our uh, technical centers in-house. This is our HSE policy. We are very much concerned about all stakeholders, be it our employees, our contractors, the people who are uh, living nearby our fields. These are the some glimpses of uh, stellar performance of Sun Petro so far. We have started operation in April 2014 20, 20, and uh, Today we are producing around, uh, we are capable of producing around 7,500 barrels of oil equivalent per day within eight years. This is uh, regarding our revenue in, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So this is our production trend. In 2018, uh, it was around 200 barrels per day. Now we are, we are in this range, 6,000 to 7,000 barrels per day and we are hopeful of producing around 30,000 barrels per day in the next 2-3 years. But our target is more than 1 lakh barrel per day and we are, we are working towards that. This is the trend of our uh, revenue. In 2014 it was zero. Last year we have, al already, uh, I mean we, are, we have already touched around 600 crores of revenue and uh, this year we are hopeful of uh, generating around 1,500 crores of revenue. And uh, as a company, we have collaborated, collaborated with a lot of uh, technical institutes uh, like um, Ukraine, ESTC, IPR, IIT Madras, IIT BHU, ISM Dhanbad. So these are the some innovations that we have implemented so far in, at Sun Petro. More than uh, 36 plus innovations are already implemented uh, for uh, enhancing production or like for, uh, for reviving the, you know, the old fields or uh, discarded fields like uh, dry seal and liquid seal for recovery of zero for, for recovery of very low pressure gas for implementing zero gas flaring then mobile well test separator unit uh, this is a very uh, good uh, example of uh, digital transformation as well as uh, you know our innovation with this unit we can test every well uh, and transfer the data online to any location all across sun petro it is having a solar powered remote telemetry unit which helps us to uh, capture the data and transfer the data we have also implemented uh, one uh, hydrocyclone. This is this is uh, this has replaced this uh, expensive effluent treatment plant of the oil and gas plant. Then we have got gravity uh, chemical injection system. Without pump, we can inject any chemical in our flow line, in our well, in our uh, pipeline, or in tank. This is a pickable. Why we have designed and we have uh, 
fabricated, we, we commissioned uh, in our field for connecting two piggable uh, lines to a single one. And there are so many, some 36 plus innovations are there. There is a booth uh, at the exhibition hall from San Petro. So if you want to visit over there, we can explain so many things. Like other innovation, innovations uh, which helped us, like uh, uh, we have, we have uh, constructed, uh, you know, 10 inch, we have, uh, we have laid 10 inch dia pipeline 60 kilometer long for sales of our oils from our field to IOCL in a record time of eight months, which has crossed through uh, three districts of Gujarat having 130 plus crossings. We have also constructed a base camp for 24 by 7 travel free operations near our CPF. No, no, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sir. Now I'll take you through some photographs. Sorry, sir. Yeah, this is the photograph of our CPF Central Processing Facility. It's a state-of-the-art facility which we have constructed I mean, at our Bhaskar field close to Khambad. It has. This is the uh, photograph of the process area which has got all the equipment: uh, separator, uh, heat exchangers, vapor recovery units, storage tanks, pumps, everything over there. And as, an, as a prudent operator, we are also concerned about uh, our environment. So we have, we have, we have installed this one megawatt solar power plant. We, we are using renewables also for, for operating our electrical equipment, mainly pumps. These are some uh, digital transformation. As, as we are adapting uh, innovations, we are implementing uh, you know, out of the box thinking in our day-to-day -day works. We are also accepting uh, I mean, we are also implementing some digital technologies for our for our process improvement like uh, all san petro sites are connected with our headquarters in mumbai uh, through uh, through 24 by 7 uh, communication system we have established a state of the art uh, gng center we call it interactive interpretation workstation where we have uh, created all the I mean, digital oil fields for our for our assets we analyze uh, these fields in our in our office and then only we hit the ground for for the development all our operations are controlled by uh, dcs or scada and uh, it has really helped to improve our operations day to day operations mobile well test unit already i have explained uh, we can uh, we can test our well we can mobilize our unit wherever it is required then we have got a very good uh, data center at, in our office as uh, data is the new oil. So we have, we have also implemented so many uh, security systems, uh, data loss protection systems. We have established a document management system uh, in, close to our office uh, at Thane and we are uh, in process of implementing SAP ERP complete system solutions. This is a photograph of our uh, GNG workstation IAWS. So some some glimpses of our uh, digital um, technologies which 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 are with us you can find here this is the photograph of our dcs or scada room and uh, you can see the plant over there so we can operate uh, the plant i mean th it's an example i mean all our plants could be operated by this setup and being a uh, being a growing company we are, we have started uh, accepting this uh, di digital technologies since inception and we are implementing also this is a photograph of the mobile well testing unit. This unit has got all the uh, digital instruments like pressure gauge transmitter, pressure transmitter, temperature transmitter, remote telemetry units. We can we can uh, check the well parameters on our mobile also. It has got so much uh, features in place, and it is it is having a solar powered system. So we are not dependent on uh, regular uh, kind regular source of energy. This is, a, this is a photograph for, of the IT setup which we have established uh, I mean, between our HO and our sites. Our network and server setup, we have got, glo we have got a cloud-based uh, uh, network with uh, redundancy in place. And uh, for trouble-free operation, we are using it on a daily basis. Now, next is uh, digitization of oil sales. Uh, as we are selling our, our oil uh, through custody transfer meter located 60 kilometers away from our facility. So we have established a communication system with our CPF, our block wall station, which is uh, some 30 kilometers away from our CPF and the, and the de destination that is IOCL Barija. So everywhere we have uh, established communication system, we can read, even we can control the parameters sitting at our CPF. Even as per IOCL's requirement, we have transferred our data to them also. 
all all features we have established without laying a fiber optical cable this is a communication system uh, which uh, is there between our uh, bhaskar cpf and ho so it is a cloud based system it is very much alive we can monitor our field sitting uh, at our uh, sitting uh, at our ho we have got uh, cctv based surveillance systems and other uh, other operating uh, parameters also we can monitor from 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 our control room from our uh, ho communication system that we have established uh, for for monitoring our well so individual well we can uh, monitor from our uh, dcs uh, scada operating room so and we are implementing for all the all 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 sites of san petro in near future and in short our it framework it comprises this active directory uh, central centralized antivirus this and different protection systems dcs and scada centralized internet internet centralized uh, file server uh, file sharing file share server cctv surveillance system centralized app based payroll time attendance systems so what i mean to say is we are uh, we are very much open to all technologies but uh, unless and until uh, technologies are coupled with innovations and out of the box thinking it is not going to bring good results for any operator and uh, as people say like uh, the era of new oil is over so we have to apply lot of new uh, thoughts new ideas new concepts in a, um, along with uh, transformation so that's all from my side thank you thank you so much sir